Yeah, man. Uh, this discernment of spirits thing. It's like I kind of see it as the outpouring of the Holy uh, Spirit in the end times. It's like uh, it says when the evil starts to increase that God will lift up a standard against it. And I, I see this personally as something to that effect. It's like literally the veil has been torn a little bit. And it's like you're not in darkness no more to the fact that how the spirit world works. There's a hierarchy. There's a kingdom. There's powers, principalities. There's archons. There's demons. There's the king of demons, Bel Air. I mean, and, and you only hear about that if you study the, the testaments of the patriarchs. There's a lot of awesome information about healing in there about how that certain if you're mad a lot you're gonna have liver problems if you're like the cunning comes from the kidneys this is identical to the thinking in chinese homeopath wait was it homeopathic and uh health arts it's also self-defense is also a health art you know what i'm saying at the same time kind of like the commandments is not only a code of morale the tea, but it also has health benefits because if you ain't covetous you're gonna have a lighter heart than the man who is worried about getting something or want something so bad it actually hurts you you know it hurts your actual soul it causes you pain you know what i'm saying but anyway these discernment of spirits i watched this video the day that i seen the crazy plasma bomb storm where it looked like the sun was rising as the sun was setting uh it looked like the sun was rising in the east and setting at the west at the same time. The that morning, I heard this dude this video, uh, and this the, he's I, it's almost like a wacky preacher almost, but it was, he was serious, but he was still kind of like he, he was strangely like joyful, like it almost it it's you know it, it was weird, it was hard to receive it right at at the time, but he was like, I'm telling you. He's like, you try the spirits and see if they be of God or not. He's saying something like that. He goes, you try the spirits. And he points at this dude. And he starts singing. Like Matthew. He just sings it. Acapella Matthew. And I didn't know it was Matthew. I thought it was just some kind of like they wrote a hymn or something. you know. And it was actually, when I heard it sung, I didn't even recognize it as the Bible. But then I realized he, he did kind of like there was like lightning struck i mean it, it even talks about the angel's face being like lightning you know what i'm saying and like bam when the when the uh temple was rent and and listen after it gets over he or before the song he goes and, and god's gonna pour you out a blessing more than you are even able to contain and i didn't know what exactly what that meant neither until now uh and then he, and after he gets done singing, he starts preaching again. And he's like, "What are the days? The veil's gonna, the veil's gonna, uh, the veil's gonna break. The veil's gonna rent." And he's like, "And we're gonna see." And he's like, "How glorious of a day!" And he starts getting all crazy, right? And it was like basically this dude spoke by autoplay, and me just being distracted.